Hi, ladies. Welcome to my um, weekly live. I'm excited that you're here today. Um, I have some pretty projects and I'm going to make some adjustments to them as I go because I thought of something afterwards and I think they'll look prettier with those changes. So I hope you like them today. I do want to point out that I have some um, um, extra create a la carte kits for sale and I'll show those at the end of the presentation as well. So anyway, um, what I have today are two greeting cards and they're really sparkly in person. Um, I'm using the Sparkling Snowflakes stamp set. This does have a punch with it, but I'm not using that today. I'm also using this Merry Christmas stamp um, from the Rocking Horse um, stamp set. And one of my favorites, this is in the annual catalog. It's from the um, Brightest Glow, and I'm using the Joy from the Brightest Glow. So these are the um, stamp sets that I'm using today to make these projects. Here is another card that I, I made. And again, I'm going to make a couple of changes as we go. And finally, I have this cute little, um, just a, like a treat holder. And these are for hot chocolate. So um, you just mix them in with some hot milk and you have some hot chocolate. Now I did get these, they come in a pack of four or six and I picked them up at Home Goods, but you can find them at TJ Maxx and also um, Marshalls. I've seen them at all those places. So that's where you can find them at. This is a perfect stocking stuffer or if you're one to do craft shows, it would be great for craft shows as well. So anyway, thank you ladies for joining me. And I do want to say thank you as well to all of you for supporting me. Um, I know a lot of you have seen on my Facebook page that um, one of my downline posted that I placed number 18 overall for um, sales, recruiting, and team building um, for this last fiscal year. So thank you so much. And I do want to say that I also placed number 13 for leadership and 15 for team building and 36 for sales. Um, so thank you so much. And if um, I'm always looking for people to join my team. So if you're at all interested and you're not currently working with a demonstrator, I would love to have you on my team. I do want to recognize th um, three other people on my team. Um, Sandy England, she um, placed number 127 out in the United States for sales. And I had Wendy Badecki for team building. She placed um, 138 and Tricia Bellinger placed 119. So those are all great performances. So if you see them online, make sure you congratulate them. I know they'd appreciate it. So anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and get started, and then I will show you the kits that I have for sale afterwards. So let me get this out of the way, and we're going to start off with this one first. And as always, if you um, would like to have these make and takes sent to you, just make sure that you um, place your order by Sunday using this host code, and I will send these to you. So let me grab this. And I love this paper down at the bottom, and I forgot the name of it. Um, let me see. I have it right here, and I know Shelly is on, and she would cover me if, if I didn't have it. It's Snowflake Magic, so you can see here. They're so pretty, and it's Lost Lagoon. So anyway, um, here we go. This is what we're doing today. Um, so I'm starting off with a piece of Lost Lagoon. That is 11 by four and a quarter, and it's scored at five and a half. So let me just, where's the bone folder? I'll use this one. Okay, and then we have a piece of basic white that I embossed with the Snowflake Sky embossing folder. And also um, I have a piece of the DSP. And this DSP is cut at one and a quarter by three and a quarter, I believe. Yes. And the um, basic white is three and a quarter by four and a half. So we're going to go ahead and 
um, put these together. Shelly, you always seem to cover me. Hey, Patty. Um, inside my drawer over there, there's some of this ribbon. Uh, the top drawer in the corner. Will you grab me some, please? The one with the silver trim. I forgot to grab it. Okay, so I'm, I have a little bit of a paper hangover here, so I'm going to trim this off. The things that sell the most for me are the snowflake, or the Hershey Bar Snowmen. Those go like crazy. I think one time I sold over 400 of them. Okay, so we're going to put these two together, and I have um, a piece of the glitter paper. Now, what I would do, actually, if I wasn't on um, doing this live, I would cut some stuff out of here just to save um get some extra mileage out of this. So I'm going to go ahead and put these two together. You're right, Tina. Especially since I don't like wine anyway. Okay, so I like just a really slim margin on this. I think it looks pretty like that. So now that Halloween is over, is everybody in the Christmas spirit or getting ready for Christmas? I'll tell you what, um, <laughs> if you guys saw my house right now, you would die. Or I wouldn't let you see it. I had all kinds of stuff done yesterday. I had my base and my garage floor coated with that. It's different from the epoxy. And I also had new furniture delivered. And so I haven't been able to put it all together yet. And I can't walk on the floor in the in the garage. So I have my bike in the kitchen. <laughs> anyway, we're taking this bow and uh, ribbon and we're going to tie a bow here. So when it I when I get it all put back together, I'll show you some pictures. I love this ribbon. It ties the prettiest bows. So make sure that if you like this video, you um, give me a thumbs up. And um, if you would, I'd appreciate it if you'd share it with your friends. Okay, so we're going to put this on with dimensionals. I have some ink on here. <laughs> so yesterday, they didn't tell us that that um, garage coating was going to be so strong. It was so strong, I couldn't even sleep last night. It was all in my throat. It was terrible. My sister told me she went home with a headache, and my other friend that was here, she's, she had to leave. She said it was killing her. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put this um, down with dimensionals. Thank you, Fran, for sharing it. Let's see if I got that straight. Okay, so, so far, so good, okay? All right, now I'm gonna use this piece here and we're gonna stamp. Okay, we're gonna stamp the snowflake. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Didn't recognize it. All right, and we're gonna emboss as well. A lot of people don't like when their stamp gets stained like this, but I personally do because it's easier to see, I think. 
Okay, so we're going to put this on right here. I'm almost out of silver, but I do have a ton more. Okay, so I'm going to punch this out with the two and a quarter inch punch, and then I'm going to adhere it to a, a circle punch that is, let me see, two and three eighths. This is the, yeah, this is two and a quarter. And just center it. Make sure the peaks are all about the same, the same area. Um, no, I don't think you can get the stains off. Okay, I already um, punched this out. Now, if you don't have this punch, this is an older punch. It's two and three eighths. You can use a circle punch. It doesn't really make that much of a difference. So I'm putting these together. Since I started using this little um, gun last week, everybody's asking me about it. And I love it. Okay. So here are where we're going to make some changes, okay? Let me show you this. All right, so this is going to go on with dimensionals right here. And for those of you that are on my team um, that are on today, I am looking to do our team Christmas party um, I'm going to announce it on the um, team meeting as well, but the team Christmas party is going to be at my house on De Friday, December 15th. More details to come. Okay, so we have that, and I'm going to put this on here as well, but before I do that, I'm going to stamp Merry Christmas. Isn't it cool, Kathy? I love it. Kathy, I um I had to change the date of the Christmas party. I said I was going to have it on the 16th, but I'm going to have it on the 15th. Okay, so we're going to stamp Merry Christmas. And I'm just going to make sure I get the bottom part at least straight. And I'm going to trim off the top a little bit. Good, Shelly. That means you're coming, right? Let me see. I'm going to trim it down a little bit more. All right, and I'm going to trim it this way. I don't want it covering up the snowflake too much. Okay, so what's going to happen is this is going to go on here, on dimensionals, of course. And um, Shelly, we're going to do a theme party. It's going to be a Grinch party. And there's more to come about that, too. 
Okay, so we're going to put this on right here. And I just thought it'd be prettier if we had some more sparkle. So what I did was I um, die cut this. And this is from the Chic Dyes. So I'm going to cut this in half. You don't have to be perfect because it's going to be kind of hidden. Hey, Lisa. And let me see. Where's my glue? Okay. We're going to put a little bit of glue on here. And we're going to just tuck it under here just a little bit. Okay, so it's more sparkle now, and I like it better. Okay, all right, so now we're just going to do the inside. And we have two pieces of basic white. So I'm going to bring this in, and I'm going to bring in the Versamark again. And ink this up in the corner. I'm using three different snowflakes here. And I hope I got them stamped well because it's hard to see. <laughs> Perfect. Lisa, I think you should come back in for the Christmas party. I'm hoping some of my other out-of-town um, teammates will come as well. I know Diane is on here, so I hope that you and Erlene are able to come. Okay. Well, Lisa, make it happen. <laughs> Okay, and I want to trim the bottom off a tiny bit. Okay, so here you go. Oh, I need to add some diamonds. Hold on a second. And speaking of diamonds, last week I forgot to show this really beautiful gift that was given to me at the retreat. And I'll show it to you in just a little bit. So anyway, see this sparkles a little bit more than this one. So. What do you think? Do you like the, the sparkle on there? So that's your first project. 
So now we're going to move on to this one here. Um, so let me pull that stuff in. Okay, so this time, this is the landscape um, layout. So this is five and a half by eight and a half, and it's scored at four and a quarter. Okay, so there you go. There's that. We've got a dimensional top here. Okay, and then we have, here's the paper. Isn't that pretty? So anyway, we're going to put this together. This is five by three and three quarters. And then this one is five and eighth by three and seven eighths. So let me put this down. And this DSP is specialty paper. And this one, this paper is only one sided. So I was amazed um, when people were posting about the retreat that, um, oh my gosh, people are already saying they're coming next year and to save them a spot. And I really think that it's going to sell out when, as soon as I announce it. Wow, we have somebody from Scotland on. Hi, Karen. Yes, Kathy, that would be great. Okay, so we're going to put this down here. All right. All right, so now we're going to do some stamping. And it's also embossed. If you can see this, it's embossed with a snowflake um, embossing folder. But if you emboss first, you won't get a good image. So that way, um, we do have to stamp first and then emboss. So we're going to stamp with all the different snowflakes. So this one here is going to go first. And we're just going to put that right there. stack the big um, the medium size right here and the smaller one I'm gonna stamp three times here here and here cover this up. Hey, Anita. Okay. So that looks pretty good. All right, so we're going to heat this.
Hey, Andy. All right, so we have this. So now I want to emboss it with the um, Snowflake Sky Embossing Folder. So let me pull this in. So I'm going to put it face down on this line. And the line um, on here, it's not that big of a deal. But if you need a design to be straight, you want to use that line. Okay. Oh, I have it backwards. Okay, so here you go. We have that now. Margo, are you new to my channel? Okay, so we're going to back it with this. Okay, and again, we're going to um, trim it down some because I only want a little bit of an edge or the um, clearance. All right, so this is going to go on here with a slight margin or border. Okay, so let's trim this down. Hey, Nicole. And speaking of the retreat, we already have the theme for next year, and we're already shopping for stuff for it. And um, the theme for next year is going to be um, Winter Wonderland, so that'll be really pretty. Okay, so we have this, so we're going to put this on with dimensionals. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, so this is going to go on here. Just like that. And then I have this little die cut. And this is from the Handcrafted Elements. And I love it. It goes with that um, ornament. So I am going to put this on here. I just think it looks so pretty just as an added background. Kind of intricate. And it's going to go right here. So I have another snowflake here. So I'm just going to cut this one in half again. And we're going to add some bling here. You know, it might be better if I use a glue dot. It might stick better. <laughs> it's sticking to the scissors. Nicole, that's what everybody is saying. Um, in fact, somebody said to me today that it was the best one yet. It's going to go right there. So added a little bling. Okay, and then I'm going to take this piece of um, 
scrap. And I'm using Lost Lagoon. And this is from the Brightest Glow stamp set. And I'm using the um, Double Oval Punch, which is still available. Oop, I need to cut this down some. And this is going to go right here on dimensionals. <laughs> I think so, Nicole. All right. So I'm going to grab some more ribbon. Hey, Patty, can I borrow your um, diamonds? My your diamonds. <laughs> No. Yeah, I just need one actually. Okay, so we're gonna tie this bow and put it on with the dimensional. And this time I'm gonna put the bow right over here so it doesn't block that um, snowflake. Gonna go right here this time and then I'm just going to add a couple of diamonds and if I put it on the joy this time Okay, so here you go. Here is the outside. It's really sparkly. Yes, it's Patty, Kathy. Okay. Kathy Denzel. Okay, so then on the inside, let me see. I just die cut another one of these snowflakes. So we're just going to add it in here right in the center. And I'm going to put this together. Kathy um, said hi, Patty. Hi, Kathy. She says hello. Okay, now see how this is coming up? We're going to cheat a little bit. Take some glue and just kind of rub it under here so then we can get it to stay down. Okay, just like that. Um, I just need one more piece. Oh no. Um, yeah, here, take this one. I need a larger piece. And then you can have it. You can take that one. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so here is your second card. Which card do you like better? Do you like the first one here, the simpler one, or the second card? Okay, and then finally we're going to do this little treat holder. And again, I got these little treats at um, Home Goods. Okay, so let me grab my stuff here. 
and I'll show you what we're doing. So this piece is um, five by 11 and I scored it at one and four and then I turned it and I scored it at seven and a quarter and eight and a quarter. And then what I did, um, I don't know if you can see it, from the first score line here, from here to here is two and three quarters, okay? From here to here. So I wanted this part from here to here, I put a mark. I measured two and three quarters that way, which is, let me see, four and a half down from the side. I just put a little mark and I'll show you why in a few minutes. So we're going to score here or fold on the score lines because we want to do, I want to trim like this. So I wanted it to be easy to trim. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to first cut the tab in here. Oh, Diane, I hope you do. And I told you, you're welcome to stay at my house. So you're going to, you guys will get, each get your own bedroom. Okay, so then I have the mark here. So what I want to do, um, I'll take a ruler and kind of show you here. All right, so what I want to do is cut it from there to there on an angle. Does that make sense? So let me get this out of the way. I'm going to close this up and bring in the cutter so I can show you what I mean. This time I'm going to use this cutter. So I'm going to put this in here, and I'm going to put the, um, the score line where it, where it, um, the score line starts right on the track where it's going to cut. And then I want it to, I put the little mark right here where I want it to end. So it's on an angle. Oh, it moved. It's easier with my other cutter, but I really can't bring that one in. Okay, so I'm just going to cut down like that. Okay, so it did it on an angle. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So I have the mark there. I'm going to put that, both of them on the track. Okay, this one looks like it's a little off. I can add it, do more on there. Okay. All right, so we have this. So now what we're gonna do is glue this together. So I'm gonna put this glue on here just to hold these in because you don't want them flapping inside and you can't um, stick your treat all the way in there. So I'm connecting those to the back of the box. Okay. And then um, I'm going to take this, put the glue here. Fold this down. And there you have it. See what I mean? Okay. So then we have these two pieces here. Let me see. I'm probably going to have to trim it up a little bit. So remember, ladies, if you want these make and takes, just place your order by Sunday using this host code, and I'll send these out to you.
I love this little trimmer. <laughs> I wish they still had it in stock. I say that all the time because so many people want one and I can't get it for them. Okay, so that's that. And this is going to go on dimensionals. So has everybody started, at least started, their Christmas cards? I make so many through my videos and everything that I can just mail what I have. Okay, so I'm going to wrap the ribbon around here now. Let me put the candy in here so that you can see how nicely it fits. What a cute little gift, huh? Oops. <laughs> yes, I did. I'll show you, Rachel. It is a ch hot chocolate thing. And I got it at um, Home Goods, but they have it at TJ Maxx and they have it at um, Marshall's. They're little, they come four to a pack. And there's got chocolate and um, it's on a wooden stick and you just mix it in hot milk. Okay, so now we're gonna stamp one more time. And then afterwards, I want to show you the kits that I have available. So I'm trying to clean out my, my craft room. I have lots of kits I'm trying to get rid of. So um, anyway, I'll show you them. No. <laughs> oh, wow, Don. Okay, so now we're going to punch this with a two and a quarter inch punch. Okay, we're going to glue it to a two and three eighths inch Lost Lagoon circle. And let me see. Oh, I don't need this one here. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so this is going to go right here. Okay, and then we're going to put another one this little sparkly one. Right in the center. 
going to put it off. I think it looks so pretty. And then we have a diamond. We're putting on here right in the middle. So here are your projects. Oh, and I always like to add some of this little sparkly stuff. It just looks so pretty. Okay. So anyway, these are your projects here and your cards. All right. So I hope you like these. And I do want to show you a couple other things. Um, let me see. Um, Dawn. Um, had this made for me, and it is so pretty, Dondi Suter. And because I call the um, rhinestones diamonds, it says, Julie, you are, you call uh, rhinestones diamonds. I love it. You are the best. Thanks, Dawn. Isn't that pretty? It's all sparkly. So thank you so much, Dawn. I really appreciate it. And I want to show you some of the kits that I have left. First of all, I have this one here, and let me show you how um, I have them um, packaged because you get a lot of stuff with it. And I also have um, this little basket, and it has a, a handle, but the handle I bent up. Okay, so you have the um, four cards. You get a pack of the DSP, a roll of the ribbon, and you get um, the rhinestones, and they're all packaged. You can see them in here. So, and the PDF. So, if you're interested in this kit, it's the Everlasting Beauty Kit. I have a few of these left. Um, I also have, let me see, the Regal Reindeer. I only have one of these. So, first come, first serve, and they're $42. So, I have the treat holder, and I have... Um, four cards, and it looks like this. You get um, watercolor paper. You also get a pack of the um, the gold foil, which is on back order. You get a roll of this ribbon and the five projects. So this is the Regal Reindeer set. If you're interested, I only have one of these. And then let me see. This one, unfortunately, my... Um, Samples disappeared at the retreat, and this is the Fruitful Blessings. This is September. If you look on my blog at stampingala.com, um, it is, um, you can look under the um, Create a la Carte tab, and um, you'll find what these look like. They're beautiful, it, it, and you get a pack of that All About Autumn DSP. You get um, watercolor paper and the ribbon here and also the um, little embellishments and the five projects. So that is the fruitful blessings. And then finally, this one just ended, but I have a few extra kits. This is the um, All About Autumn and they're all, um, let me see, watercolored. And this is the, it has a apple cider in here but you get a full pack of these here are the five projects they're all in here you also get a full pack of this paper and you get enough of the um, gold foil as well and you get the um, ribbon so this one is the um, all about autumn so if you like if you want any of these please let me know Help me clean out my craft room. I'd appreciate it. And um, they're $42 a kit, and I'd love to send them to you. Um, LaSheila, um, uh, one of um, my downline, LaSheila Morris, is looking for the Dahlia Days um, bundle. If anybody has one that wants to sell it, please let me know, and I'll connect you two together. Okay? Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great night. Bye-bye.